welcome to shaker maths today we are going to learn sixth class mathematics semester 2 eighth chapter basic geometric concepts exercise 8.4 problems before going to do the exercise 8.4 let us learn how to measure an angle a tool called protractor in the compass box is used to measure an angle let us see the picture of a protractor observe here there are two scales one is upper scale and another is lower scale one upper scale whose value starts from 0 degrees to 180 degrees from left side to right side and it is used to measure the left angle in clockwise direction number two there is another scale called lower scale whose value starts from 0 degrees to 180 degrees from right side to left side to measure the right angle in anti-clockwise direction now let us take an example take an initial point o another point a draw an initial ray through oa take another point b and draw a ray through ob take another point c and draw a ray through oc now let us learn how to measure the angle AOB for this you have to observe the center of the protractor and the initial point O should coincide and the line COA should coincide the baseline of the protractor now place the protractor in such a way that the center point coincides with the initial point and the baseline should coincide with COA now in angle AOB, OA is the initial ray and OB is the final ray. This is the right angle. So to measure it, we have to use the lower scale 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on up to 80. So the final ray is pointing 80 degrees. So angle AOB is 80 degrees. Now to measure the left angle, that is angle COB. The initial ray is OC and the final ray is OB. So for this uh, we have to use the upper scale that is 0, 10, 20 and so on up to 100. So the final ray OB is pointing 100 degrees. So angle COB is 100 degrees. Now exercise 8.4 first problem see the figure and measure all the angles. For that extend the line N and place the protractor on the line L and at the center point P. Now to measure the left side angle see the upper scale 0, 10, 20 and so on. 8 lines after 110 that is 118 degrees the line N is showing. Now on the right side angle see the lower scale that is 0, 10, 20 and so on 60 after 2 lines that is 62 degrees the line N is showing on the protractor. So left side angle is 118 degrees, right side angle is 62 degrees. Now place the protractor on the line M and at the center point Q. Now for left side angle see the upper scale 0, 10, 20 and so on. 8 lines after 110 that is 118 degrees. And right side lower scale 0 10 20 and so on 60 after two lines that is 62 degrees now for below angles place the protractor in such a way that the baseline coincide with the line l and at the center point p now observe the left side angle see the lower scale that is 6 0 10 20 and so on 60 after two lines 62 degrees and right side angle see the upper scale that is 0 10 20 and so on 110 after 8 lines that is 118 degrees now place the protractor in such a way that the baseline should coincide with the line m and the center point coincide with the point q now left side angle we observe that it is 62 degrees and right side angle we observe that it is 118 degrees. Number 2. Sum of which two angles is 180 degrees in this figure. Observe that 118 plus 62 is 180 degrees. These are side by side angles. 
So, sum of adjacent angles is 180 degrees in this figure. Now, number 2. See the figure and extend the line PB. Now, place the protractor on the line L and at the center A. Now, on the right side, see the lower scale. 60 degrees after 8, that is 68 degrees on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, see the upper scale 0, 10, 20 and so on 110 after 2 degrees that is 112 degrees. Now see the below. Place the protractor on the line M and now right side angle is 58 degrees. You observe that the left side angle is 122 degrees. To measure the below angles, place the protractor on the line L as shown in the figure. Now, here left side angle is 68 degrees and right side angle is 112 degrees. And place the protractor on the line M on the side on the, at the center B. Now, left side angle is 58 degrees and right, side, uh, right hand side angle is 122 degrees. Now, second question is sum of which angles is 180 degrees in this figure observe that 112 plus 68 is 180 degrees uh, the same way 122 plus 58 is also 180 degrees so uh, sum of the side by side angles is 180 degrees so sum of adjacent angles is equal to 180 degrees now exercise 8.4 third problem in the given figure measure angle foj and draw the same in your notebook so place the protractor on the line OG at the center O. Now observe the OF is pointing 35 degrees on the protractor. So take an initial point O, another point G and draw an initial ray through OG. Now place the protractor on the line OG at the center O. Now on the lower scale Observe that 0, 10, 20, 30 after 5 lines. Make a point or put a point dot at the 35 degrees. Now name it as F. Now draw a final ray through OF. Now angle FOG is 35 degrees. Now fourth problem. In the given figure measure the angles. Angle AOB and angle BOC. So take the figure. Place the protractor on the line OA and at the center O. Now read the upper scale 0, 10, 20 and so on. Four lines after 40, the ray OC is pointing on the protractor and the ray OB is pointing six lines after 110 that is 116 on the protractor. So angle AOB is equal to 116. Angle BOC is equal to angle AOB minus angle AOC that is equal to 116 minus 44 degrees which is equal to 72 degrees and observe here angle BOC is 72 degrees in the figure. Now fifth problem write some acute, obtuse and reflexive angles at least two for each solution acute angles example. It lies between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. So 1 degree, 2 degree and so on up to 89 degrees. Obtuse angles. Example. The, this angle lies between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So 91 degree, 92 degree and so on up to 179 degrees. Reflexive angles. Example. It lies between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. So 181 degrees, 182 degrees and so on 359 degrees. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe. Say karmas.